Good evening friends. This is Rahul Bagani here is a Group Chief Executive Officer at Treasury Consulting and also a Venture Capitalist. A $25 million valuation company and hopefully $1 billion maybe by 2022 and 2023. Today we are going to cover a very relevant topic. Actually today we gave a training to the top 10 banks of Singapore. In fact there were almost every bank was there. And tomorrow also we are going to impart training in that regard. But today and tomorrow there was actually one common point which was uh, I, I think this video I'm making hard for FX video for special people. This is not for everybody. I don't think everybody for everybody it's a useful or not, you know. So today after training program, within the training program, JP Morgan Chase raised an actually very important point which I think was much relevant. What he said that as we are moving from LIBOR to SOFR, sorry, he said that as more and more derivatives are getting centralized, they are under the IM, which is initial margin. And since they are going to be settled using CCP, although we are not sure whether this would happen or not, till what extent it would happen, we don't know because capital is always an issue, regulatory are always an issue, there are so many things in place actually. But what important point which Chase raised, which I think I should raise with you, he said that, boss, you know, if more and more things will come via CCP and OTC market cannot be down, so OTC market cannot be wind off. You know, that is, a, that is again a fact. In OTC market, there is no basis risk. Now I'm not going to explain what exactly is the basis risk. Actually, it's a floating risk. And when both sides float, then it is known as basis swap. He said that when more and more trades will move from OTC to CCP, then if a bank trade take a CCP trade, you know, uh, on the contrary, he takes an OTC trades, right? Then it will create a huge basis adjustment in the books. And I am agree. And I think one of the uniform consensus of today's training with the banks is that if we continue to move from OTC model to CCP model, which for a minute I am taking that in out trades and everything which all include actually for a minute I agree. Although we are separately going to have a video on the in out trade, you know, then this would create a very big basis adjustment in the books of the banks. We already know that regulatory capital is increasing. Because of, the regular, because of the increase in the regulatory capital, banks are seriously not in a position any ways to take this basis adjustment in their books. Bank needs to pass this basis adjustment to their clients. Now banks needs to pass this basis adjustment to client, then one of the questions which I raised to JP Morgan Chase is that till what extent client would be able to take it? Because we need to appreciate that clients are also not in a good shape. So you take any company in this globe, they are, all in, they are not in a good shape, right? Now the question, now the matter of the concern is that, now the matter of the concern is that we need to see that if we move from one model, OCT model, o o OTC model to CCP model, then basis adjustment would come. Alternatively, one of the banks, I am forgetting that I think is is MUFG, Mitushubishi or maybe some other bank are taking an indemnification, not, requ not remembering the right name. He was actually uh, at the left hand side of mine. So he said that if this would be the case, then bank would be able to cover the entire exposure using one basis swap. I disregarded this statement because banks might not be able to cover this using basis swap. The reason being the tenure is different. So one OTC contract is for one day. You know, it is uh, Tom, one four spot, T plus two. And again, it is INR, T plus two. There are multiple currencies who operated T plus one basis. One OTC for one month, one OTC for two months, one OTC for three months. Cumulatively, if you create a basis bucket, how can you cover this using a basis swap? I think this is a point of contention now and I'm going to raise my voice in that contention that if you are coming from CCP to uh, OTC to CCP model, then who will bear the cost of the basis adjustment? I think rightly pointed by banks and now I've started thinking of that, that should we make it mandatorily or in this draft agreement which we have in the public domain of, of SIM methodology, we will give in writing that this basis adjustment cost has to be borne by the client so that in future there is no dispute. And moreover, my last thing in this video is that like in case of forward premium, one party receive, which is exporter, in case of forward premium, one party pay, which is an importer. Would there be a provision that the client would receive basis premium if the scene will turn off? due to any market reaction, we don't know. 
So these are the critical issues that we need to take up if we are seriously thinking that we'll move from OTC to CCP. Although in this video I have not touched that how exactly non-deliverable forwards will work, how the in this non-deliverable forward, how the quanto structure will work. There are actually two type of non-deliverable, one is without, with and without quanto. There are a lot of things that we need to discuss now as FX market is changing, but I'm damn sure that people in India they even not worried it about because for them whatever i'm saying ccp otc basis risk basis adjustment for them this this holds nothing these all uh, is good for nothing for them the only thing is the spot forward and future that's it life do not require anything more than three but come singapore you will see see that minds are actually in action and people are here thinking that that scene might be little stressful or mess up future amount of time. With this, Treasury Consulting, thank you very much. If you think you have credentials, you have something to substantiate, you think that you are able to do something different in the life, in FX market, you're welcome to join our WhatsApp group. You know my mobile number, 91 you know our fixed income platform www.fixedincome.global have a great time and being in singapore one of the beauties of singapore is that we <laughs> it is getting more beautiful that as hong kong is getting you know giving a very stiff competition which is i always term this as a healthy competition between singapore and hong kong minds are moving almost in every direction with this i thank you singapore government for giving this platform wonderful today training is also pending tomorrow's training is also pending and more videos on the way thank you